Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, lifestyle, and Bible. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we're gonna go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to do a spring makeup tutorial and I'm gonna be using this Hip Dot eyeshadow palette and it's their Boss's Beauty palette. And so I really wanted to play with this shade right here. So ooh, we're gonna see. So maybe I could like play with this one, this one, this one, just. We're gonna see what I come up with, but it is going to be a spring makeup look. I just wanted to play with some color, and what better time to do that than spring and then summer rolls around. Even though it's really, really cold here right now, it was snowing this morning, and it's only gonna be like 48, 49 degrees today, so yeah. So, of course, we are gonna go ahead and start off with the brows. I am gonna go ahead, and I, my eyebrows actually need to be done, so I'm gonna do that off camera real quick. And then I will come back with the brow products and show you guys what I am working with and what I'm doing. Okay, so now that we are finally back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl uh, brow pencil. And I'm actually almost out of this, so all I can do is use it to outline. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start outlining my brows with this. And I do not. Okay, so that's how good, that's as good as it's gonna get with the outlining, just because that's dull, it's almost gone. I'm really just trying to use up the last bit of it. So of course, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl um, Brow Pomade, and I have mine in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just gonna take this little brush that comes with the B Milani Brow Pomade, and it's really, really good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start filling that in. Okay, so now that brows are done, sorry, got everything everywhere, so it's far away from me. I don't know why I acted like I was tall with a long reach or something, but anyways, now that that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And I actually used this on Sunday, and I was like, ooh, like, it's actually really good now that I've been able to try it out with the foundation that's my shade. And so what I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to take this compl complex culture brush and I'm just going to blend out this concealer and also just help clean up my brows just a little bit with this. Okay, so I did go ahead and try to clean up my brows as much as possible just because I was a little bit sloppy and I feel like it's still a little bit sloppy right here on my in, um, inner brow on my right eye, but we're just gonna ignore it and keep it pushing. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take the shade Power Moves and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that shade to set down all over my eyelid. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not sure if this is gonna do much, but I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Girl Boss. And I'm just gonna slowly start, I'm gonna go on with this Morphe M, Morphe M518 with that shade Girl Boss. And just start slowly buffing that into my crease as a transition shade. These are really pig pigmented and pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna 
Those, these eyeshadows are, wow, wow. I did not expect this color to show up the way that it has on my lid. So I'm going to go in with this brush that I got in an Amazon brush kit. I'll link it down below. And I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Hustle. And just go a little bit lower and kind of start focusing that on the outer corner and lower crease. Going back in with that Morphe brush, we're just gonna make sure all is well and blended. And now, gotta be very picky with your brushes on this part. What brush are you going to use for what? Here we go. This is another brush that I got from an Amazon brush kit, and it's all the same kit, so it will be linked down in the description box. I really like these brushes. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade right here called Focus, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did with the shade Hustle. Ooh, pigmented. This color is actually the entire reason, and the shimmer that we're gonna go in with is the whole reason why I bought this palette. Just so happened it had so much, so many other colors that I would use as well. And then we're just gonna work backwards with the blending. So go on with a little bit of hustle and then girl boss and just make sure we're not losing any of those colors. The key with this look is going to be packing and blending, packing and blending, packing and blending. So now we can move on to the other eye and I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we will come back to do the rest. Okay, so now that that is done, you guys probably already know what we're about to go in and do. And if you guess cut crease, then you guessed right. We are gonna go ahead and go in and start cutting the crease with this. And cutting your crease, you guys, is definitely something that is tailored to your eye shape. So what I like to do is kind of follow my crease, open my eye, and then wherever it leaves a mark. So for instance, it kind of marked up here, I will cut it to up there. And looking down at your mirror certainly helps. Okay, so now that creases are cut, the next shade we're going to go in with is it's this shade right here and it's called Inspire and we're just gonna pack that on everywhere that we have concealer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that same brush that we cut the crease with. And I'm just patting that on ever so gently because we cut our crease for a reason so it'd be pointless to apply it sloppy. Okay, so that is super pretty, but I do feel like we're gonna have to go in and make this outer corner a little bit deeper just because, so I'm gonna try to do is mix that focus shade with, I'm gonna try to mix focus right here with a little bit of winning, just to see if we can't deepen that up just a little bit. Gonna blend that edge just a little bit where it goes into the cut crease so there's not such a harsh line but just a nice soft transition so if you look at this eye you can see where there's like a stark line and if you look at this eye, you can tell like it kind of it just blends into itself 
I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Mix in a little bit of that brown shade just to deepen. So I wasn't going to do a wing liner, but I decided I want a wing liner. So I'm going to go in with the TARDIS um, double dual ended eyeliner, just also because I wanted to try it out. And we're just going to go ahead and do a little wing. This Tarte liner is definitely giving my Il Maquillage one a run for its money. So next I am just gonna tight line with this just so we don't have that weird line going on. My eyes are going to look straight up hazel today because of all the purple and pink. So I'm going to go in with these lashes and this is just like a super sized pack of my lashes in the style Precious. And so I am just gonna go ahead and pop these lashes on off camera and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so lashes are on. So the next thing we are going to go in with is my Touch and Soul, Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. This is our Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I haven't used this in a while, so I was like, you know what, let me just pull this back out and see how it works with my favorite foundation combo and see if it's just the primer that I like so much because I don't know if it's the Wet n Wild foundation that's breaking me out or the Wet n Wild Primer Serum that's breaking me out, but something breaks me out immediately. Or it's the Mario Badescu Rose Spray, but something breaks me out like crazy. So I've stopped using all three of those and then I'll try them out all individually at some point in time. But I know that this pretty, this glassy skin balm does not break me out. So I was like, that's what we're gonna try. So the next thing I'm going in with is my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Face Primer. And you guys know I always take the little bit, the littlest bit and just start filling in my uh, pores, so especially on my cheeks. And then I just take it down my T-zone. Lashes can change a look in, like instantly. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take these and you guys know, the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. I take one pump and disperse that one pump all over my face. And then we will go in with the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation. Ooh, and just swipe everywhere. Okay, so now I am taking my Dollar General sponge. These come in a pack of three. So I highly recommend going to Dollar General, seeing if you can find them. I will insert a picture on the screen right now and they are only $3.50 or $4.50. Anywhere from three to four bucks, which is not bad. And the quality of these things is really good. It comes with a big black one and then it comes with two smaller green ones, which are like for detail. But I mean, this is like the size of a beauty blender. So it's like, okay, it's really soft, really bouncy. It doesn't absorb too much product. It's a sponge, so obviously it's going to absorb it some, but it doesn't ab absorb too much. So now we're gonna go back in with the Milani concealer and just, to, you know, take it underneath our eyes and then down our T-zone. And then we're going to blend that out with the same exact sponge. I like to take the concealer in areas where I get more dark as well. So around my mouth where I kind of get like a little bit of darkness just from like hair, I don't know what it is, with like Hispanic jeans women always get like that little mustache if you will so now that the concealer is blended out i'm going to take my elf halo glow setting powder and we're just and we're just going to set everywhere that we put concealer Ooh, Woo, i want a little bit ham i don't even know if you can just say a little bit blend out increasing i really really like this powder because it's almost like it just adds like a nice soft filter over your face so now we're going to go ahead and go in and finish up the lower lash line and the first shade we're going to go in with is the shade right here in hustle and we're just going to take it on a fluffy pencil brush and just take that all across our lower lash line
Okay, and now I'm gonna take this one with a point and I'm going to go in first with the pink by itself. And I'm gonna take it on the very, very tip and do kind of the same thing, but a little bit more closer to the lash line. Okay, so I kind of blended that out too much. So I'm gonna go back in with some hustle on this fluffy brush and pinch it and kind of blow it out some more. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a clean brush and blend that all out. Going in with this nude liner, I'm just going to go ahead and line the waterline with this. And this is the ColourPop Crim Gel Liner in Honey Dude. Okay, going back in with that Milk Mascara, we're gonna go ahead and coat our lower lashes. Okay, and now for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the shade Rebel right here and just apply that. Okay, so now that eyes are done, let's go ahead and finish up the face. I'm going in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and we're just gonna go ahead and bronze the face with this. I like to do a two-in-one and that is a bronze and contour kind of at the same time. So I'm strategic, strategically placing my bronzer sometimes this can look a little patchy i'm not sure why it doesn't look patchy everywhere just on my cheeks you see what i mean it's a little patchy For blush, we're gonna take the CoverGirl Peach Punch. Ooh, dug my nail all into that. I got foundation and blush behind this nail. Oh, my lanta. Can't have to wash that out. Okay, going in with my Peach Punch blush. We are just going to apply that to our cheeks and my left eyelash is lifting. Okay, so I'm going in with the, uh, highlighting palette I haven't used in a little while and it just keeps breaking and I'm not sure how. I did just do a major declutter and I was like, hmm, I really like this eyeshadow palette but I don't really use it that often. So I'm gonna take these two and mix them. These highlighters are so stinking. Ooh, pretty. Okay, so for lip liner, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Lip Liner, and this one is in the shade Keep It Spicy. And to fill that in, I'm going in with this Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Old Flame. And I thought that this would tie in the crease really, really well. Lips are done and now to set. Mm, mm, I almost forgot, almost forgot to set my brows. And this is just the Essence Make Me Brow. And I have the shade Brownie Brows. Y'all, why my son just told his brother, no, you know, no. <laughs> I have never used that line on them. <laughs> oh, kids are hilarious. Okay, I am going to go do something with this hair as always. And then we will be right back to close this out and see what it looks like with fixed hair. Okay guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I don't know why. I ever stopped using this, but my skin, my skin right now, I love it. I love it. I love it. And this eyeshadow palette, you guys, this really, really surprised me because Hip Dot's not like a very, at least not to me, a very well-known brand. The only reason I've heard of this brand is because of BoxyCharm, so you should check check. Boxy pop up and see if you guys could find this because I got mine for $12, but I believe on the hip dot website it's around 30. But I would purchase this eyeshadow palette. Like I said, I really bought it for these two shades, but I would use all of these shades in here. And I'm excited to play with more of these shades just for the simple fact of how beautiful this eyelet came out, how easy these eyeshadows were to work with, how blendable they were, and who else is ready for spring because of this makeup look because i'm just like okay okay flowers blooming where are you 
So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more video suggestions, please go ahead and comment those down below. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.